So, uh, as I was saying, when you have a comp more complex geometry, something that might be helpful to note is that, like, say I want to um, select the inner face or the interface between the copper and the fluid. And when I click here right now, we have a fluid inside the pipe. If you look over here, you've got uh, the darker sections, right? And then you've got the fl uh, a blue represents a fluid section. So instead of like suppressing the body and going through all uh, that junk, we can just go ahead and choose the the, inter the intermediate one or the one in the middle, which for this geometry represents the interface. Okay, and um, I'm selecting the interface, and I'm gonna go ahead and do um, create name selection interface. Okay. Now, just to prove that that worked, let me go ahead and I can hide the body. And then down here in name selections, you've got all of the uh, name selections that we've already created. And look at the interface, and sure enough, the interface is where I want it to be. Okay? Um, now, we have one more. Let me go ahead and show all bodies and go back to the geometry. We have to also do, we've done the top surface, the bottom surface, we've done the interface. We have to do a couple more. Um, since we're here, let's go ahead and create the fluid, um, the, the inlet or inflow, inlet for the fluid. Okay, and let's go ahead and do the outlet. Okay, the last thing we need to do, which is a little bit uh, of a pain, uh, but bear with me, it's a necessary step, is we have to name all of the walls. So here, we click all of the walls, we have to hold control down and navigate around. So we get to see all the different, all the walls. Pull the control down and move on. You could, you could like name all the walls separately, but um, I prefer to go ahead and put them all together because they all have the same boundary condition. Um, Okay, those are our walls. Right click, create name selections, walls. Alright, so that's that. We've got now, you can look through all of these and make sure they're right um, and they're fine. Now, in, as far as the mesh, uh, like I said, I'm going to select the um, standard mesh just going to change this to fine and um, really I'm, I'm not going to mess around much with this because um, I'm going to waste a lot of time if I do so let's go ahead and try to generate that mesh Okay. Yeah, it's uh, only 78,000, so um, it's not very good. Um, you 
Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it this way for now. So we generated the mesh. You can make changes to it to make it much, much, much more efficient. This is a pretty bad mesh, but uh, it's gonna be okay for you know for our purposes. So the next thing to do is to go ahead and uh, make sure everything is updated, and we're gonna go back to Workbench and update the setup. I'm going to use the standard settings, just click OK. Okay, so this is finally started up, and now what I'm gonna do, uh, you can like report the quality is really low, so it's supposed to be from zero to one where one is uh, uh, good quality, and we're at point one, and it should be like point nine nine, you know nine eight whatever, and we're at point one, so this is really a uh, bad quality mesh, but we're gonna go ahead and continue along with it. So we're going to be solving for the energy equation in this problem. Go ahead and turn that on. Um, depending on what your velocity is, what you choose for this inlet velocity, where is it? Here. You need to go ahead and make sure that you don't have um, turbulent flow, but we've got la laminar flow, so that's fine. The next thing we're going to do is uh, the standard uh, materials are air and aluminum. We're going to change these to water and copper. Now, this can be a little bit uh, tricky, and I'll show you why. But uh, the first thing to do is go ahead and, for fluid, click Change Create. Um, click on the database where in the fluid, go down. We're going to use water liquid. Copy close okay so you can see water is now in under fluid for solid click solid click on the database click solid here and we're, we've got copper so copy okay so it's here now under solid you can close that now um, what I would like to do is delete the aluminum and air, uh, but right now it's being used by both the cell zone and boundary conditions. So um, this goes back to when it comes to solving a system with solid and fluid parts, and you've got transfer between the two, you've got to pay attention um, to when you change the, the materials, you have to come to cell zones. What's um, okay? See, see the cell zones are mixed up. Even though in the mesh we did say that the solid was solid and the fluid was fluid. Here, this is our solid part, yet it says fluid. Go ahead and change this to solid. Yes, and you can choose either aluminum or copper. We've got we want copper. So that's good. For the fluid, we want it to be fluid, but the fluid needs to be water. So these are things you have to be sure that you change. Now there's going to be um, an error later I'll show you.